Alright guys, this is the vintage simplex cart, how we got it. It had a lot of surface rust, the motor did not run, and it was pretty unsafe to drive. Even if it did, all the axle nuts would fall off. Um, this is what it looks like after I rebuild. It looks pretty good, it is drivable, it is safe, it has all new parts, and uh, it's definitely a beautiful looking cart. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, and I like it a lot. What we did was uh, we got all the surface rust off, primered it gr uh, gray, uh, put a new clutch on it, um, put new tires, uh, changed the axle nuts out with these lock nuts so it would be safe and not fall off. We also put a new exhaust on it because the other one was pretty bad, new valve cover, new air box, new carburetor, new gas tank because that one was full of rust that was on it, and a new throttle and brake return spring. We also wired up a new kill switch there. Alright guys, so we got the simplex behind me. We're going to hop on it and do a quick speed run. All right, so that was our speed run. Um, it was okay, but uh, I definitely got cars that can go faster. Um, now we're gonna do a quick uh, run around our test track. Um, for our test track, we do three laps and we take the total time that it takes to complete those three laps. Um, the test track is a little messed up right now from some rain that we had recently. So instead of a full test track run, we're actually just gonna be running the inside of the track. Um, I've got plans to sell this cart pretty soon if I still have it when the track is in better condition I will bring it back out and do a different lap time, but uh, let's see what she runs Alright guys, so there you go. Um, that is the Simplex Vintage Go-Kart. Uh, we did a speed test with a nice little run on it. We did the three lap around the test track with our time. Uh, you can see the times for everything that we test on wrenchinengines.com. There's a complete list there. It's a fun cart. Uh, it definitely handled pretty well, although it is small. It's definitely meant for a, a smaller child, probably someone under 140 pounds, definitely. But uh, overall, it's definitely a fun cart and uh, would be great for, for a kid. So y'all like and subscribe this video. Check us out for more and leave us some feedback in the comments.